In this video, we are going to install the latest version of TensorFlow and also we are going to install all the requirements necessary for TensorFlow because if you don't install those requirements, you can't install TensorFlow and you're going to get error. So first of all, you should go to tensorflow.org slash install and then as you can see, there are some requirements. So first of all, you should have a 64-bit system. If you have a 32-bit system, you can't install TensorFlow. And also, as you can see, by the time of recording, it says that it only supports python 3.8 all the way up to python 3.11 but maybe for example you check this video and this website i mean tensorflow website for example one year later so in that case these versions may differ but by the time of recording it says that it only supports python 3.8 all the way up to python 3.11 so let's suppose that we want to install python 3.11 so in order to do so let's go to python website which is python.org and then we should click on this downloads and here you should scroll down and you can see some files that are sorted according to release date so we want to install python 3.11 so as you can see this is the latest version of python 3.11 so i click on it and then here i should scroll down and you can see there are some files here and i want to use this one windows installer for 64-bit systems so i click on it and you can see it is starting the download process that said, you can see it has downloaded the file. So here is the file and I right click on it and click run as administrator. And here, remember that you should check this one at python.exe to path. And then I click on this customize installation. And here I should press next. And in this step, this is the install location of Python, which is important. So suppose that I want to install my Python in this folder in this path. So I copy this path and then i go to this python installer and here i delete this one and i paste this path and i press install and i should wait for the installation process so that said you can see the setup was successful so i press close button and also if you checked the tensorflow website you can see that it says that it should have c redistributable as well so if you don't have it you should click on this and install that as well but i have that if i go to my control panel you can see that i have microsoft c redistributable so that said so i close my control panel so as you can see so far we have installed the requirements so let's go and install the tensorflow itself so in order to do so go to google and search for pip install tensorflow and then you can see there is a website here pypy.org so click on it and after clicking on clicking on it you can see this website will be opened so as you can see the first method to install tensorflow is using pip install tensorflow but for me it didn't work so i'm not going to use this method so instead i'm going to click on this download files and among these files i should find the proper file to download so as you can see all of these are tensorflow 2 but i have installed python 3.11 not python 3.12 so none of these files work for me so i should scroll down and here you can see we have python 3.11 python 3.11 and so on you can see this is for windows this is for linux linux mac os so i want to use this one because i'm using windows so i click on it and you can see it has been downloaded so as you can see i have put the file in this location and as you can see it's a wheel file whl means a wheel file so in order to install this i click here and then I simply type CMD and I press enter. You can see the command window opens in this location. So I want to install this file. So I simply type pip install. And remember that you should type the name of this file. So I simply type tensorflow. And these are some letters of this file. So if I want to, if I want the command window to autocomplete the name, I press tab on my keyboard. That's it. And I press enter. And you should wait for the installation process and remember that you should have internet connection and it is going to take a lot of time by saying a lot of time i literally mean a lot of time so that said you can see it has been finished so i close this command window and now if i search for idle idle remember it has l so you can see that this is python 311 which we have installed earlier so i click on it and now if i simply type import tensor flow 
as TF and if I press enter and you can see it is importing the TensorFlow and we should wait for the importing process. That's it. You can see it has been successfully imported. So it means that we have successfully installed TensorFlow and we can simply type TF dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore and if i press enter you can see this is the version of tensorflow which we have installed and also if you want to start learning tensorflow you can watch the video which is on the left side of the screen which is the next video of this playlist and you can find the link of that playlist in the description below